how will the increased use of ergo oracle pools affect circulating supply of erg it might take a very small amount and lock it into the actual oracle pools i th i think the most interesting thing will not necessarily be how it locks erg into that framework rather it's the complexity and variety of DeFi that can be built on top of Ergo. Um, you know, we, we have basically a kind of unique approach to uh, oracles. Uh, traditionally, it's more point-to-point -point data. Um, in Ergo, we're trying to disrupt that model a little bit by securing it by having uh, many points to many points that's aggregated to a single point, which gives you some additional assurances. And that can be plugged in both on top of Ergo, uh, we do have the ability to bridge that to other chains um, through uh, more of a gateway, or you, I guess we have the ability as well to have that broadcasted via API to other chains. Uh, it's something that will develop based on demand. And right now, um, you know, the demand is still being turned on. I know that, you know, with the uh, Cardano Summit, you know, a lot of people were upset that, you know, uh, let's say Cardano did a partnership with Chainlink, which, you know, from my perspective, made a lot of sense. You have products that are being already hosted uh, and supported by Chainlink. And if you want to have that project uh, become a multi-chain asset, you want the price feeds to match. Otherwise, people are just going to come in and try to arbitrage it. Now, I do think that we're going to see Oracle data from Ergo on Cardano. Right now, the use case for uh, Oracle data on both is still something we're growing into. So I don't really see that as a big obstacle. It's just a matter of where we are in terms of the evolution of DeFi on both.